fans, do you want to win your share of $100,000? Simply enter the houseofboxing.com fight night prediction challenge. Compete with boxing fans around the world. Simply head over to houseofboxing.com and sign up now. Matt Lennon and Boxing Social in association with houseofboxing.com, Empire Fight Star. Always a pleasure to be joined by Sam Jones. Sam, look, before we talk about other things, this card is stacked and a lot of your fighters, the Rees brothers, Cameron Vong, Mark Dickinson, just give me a quick run through how proud you are. Especially obviously Cameron who's come in as well. Yeah, Cameron in his in his second fight, six in a six rounder against a very tough Colombian. Um, Really, 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 really proud of proud of them all. But as I say, Cameron to step up, six rounder in his co-main event. There's a lot of pressure on him. But I genuinely believe you're looking at. Don't want to say it too, but very can hear because he can actually hear. But no, look, one of the best prospects in the world. I genuinely believe that with Cameron, and I think you'll see that on Saturday. One of the first things you said to me when I said, "Look, tell me a little bit about this uh, this this fighter who's making his debut." You said, "I don't want to say too much." And then you said, "Chaco Stevenson." Um, I said that to him, and he just went, "Oh, cheers!" Um, but seems to be obviously embracing that role. It's it's a big step up, isn't it, though, to be going from a and, debut and on undercard fighting as well. The guy yeah, is fighting, one hundred percent coming to win. He's just coming off a big win as well. The Colombian that he's fighting. So yeah, big night for Cameron. And the rest of the lads on the card would say Mark Dickinson and five and zero wanting to go six and zero. Yes. Uh, the Reese brothers, you've got you've got such a like, different stage as these guys. You must yeah. be buzzing though. Yeah, absolutely. Mark Dickinson, I've told Mark, look, this is a great opportunity for you as well. First time on the main card, English title eliminator against Grant Dennis, who's definitely coming to win for the first time. Mark's gonna have someone actually trying to, with ambition. Um, Mark's got to get in there and show his levels. I like Grant Dennis, by the way. What a great guy he is. But I want Mark to go in there and show his levels. Right, we haven't caught up after Tyson Fury and Francis Ngannou. I've got, we've got to touch on it because I'm, I, 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 well, I heard it, but whichever. Um, I'm still a bit mind blown by what I saw anyway. But just give me your sort of thoughts on it. But like what I just said there, Tyson finally performed how he looked physically. Do you understand what I mean by that? He looked, he performed how he looked for the first time. We're not used to that. We used to seeing this maverick that he is that perform that, that look Tyson's not aesthetically looking tremendous but he's always moved like a welterweight he's always oh yeah did, did he punches at Andy over there looking at me like that. I mean, it's true Tyson Fury has always has displayed over the last few years that he's the best heavyweight in the world in my opinion by a distance he performed in there against Ngarno and he looked terrible let's not let's not mix our words he looked terrible but was it a bad night for Tyson Fury? I think it potentially was, and hopefully we'll see the best of him against Usyk. Do you have any any other doubts now if he goes into this Usyk fight, or are you, are you firm belief still what they were that Tyson Fury no, no, beats listen, him? What I say, we'll know, won't we? The next fight will say a lot. I mean, if Tyson is his best, he'll beat Usyk. If he performs anywhere near how he performed against Ngannou, he's going to get fucking beat. I want to talk about Anthony Joshua because Eddie Hearn immediately after that fight, um, doing what obviously promoters do, say, oh, well, we can do um, Anthony Joshua, Francis Ngannou. I want to see that. Now, but, but before we go on to that, why is the priority now switch from Deontay Wilder? Yeah. Well, listen, that fight was because, because there's a lot of pound signs, boxing's a business, and people will see that fight as a, as a, as a close fight after what Ngannou's just done with Fury. So Eddie's just thinking, being the businessman that he is, this fight in Africa is a monster, yeah? The Wilder fight's always going to be there. Beat Ngannou, beat, beat Wilder, and then, and then go on to fight, hopefully, Tyson Fury, which is what we all want to see. Do you think the Wilder fight will still be there as it keeps I carrying so. on? Because Wilder's have been so. inactive. So. Like, we need to see that because fight. the heavyweight division is shit, isn't it, at the moment? With like the, the, the lack of peep fighters that don't want to fight each other. We want to see the best fight the best. We want to see AJ versus Wilder, Fury Usyk, which we're going to see. Um, and then... Usyk against, uh, I don't know, Wilder. We want to see these great fights, and I believe that's what we're going to get next year, hopefully. I've just seen Deontay Wilder come out and say, look, I'm going to have to come over here and we're going to have to hash this out one-on-one -on -one with Anthony because I think the boxing fraternity, and I know, listen, I know this fan base of boxing has, will stretch to bigger if it's Francis Ngannou in Africa, and it is, it is money, but Eddie Hearn's been so adamant that that fight is Deont his next for Anthony Joshua. Listen, because I think that Tyson Fury, oh, sorry, I was led to believe that AJ had been offered the fight with Wilder, which I think they all confirmed, by Skills Challenge. Skills Challenge aren't operating at the moment so there's not much really they can really do they can't Wembley, Vegas, Abu Dhabi yes absolutely let's see the fight I genuinely believe you'll see that fight next year hopefully we see AJ fight three times next year Garnu, Wilder, Fury do you give Francis and Garnu a chance against no. other heavyweights after that no you're still you're still convinced Johnny that was should knock him out what even after that, that why you're looking at me like that Johnny Fisher no, I, would I love Johnny Fisher Johnny Fisher would take and Garnu out early doors trust me go through him like a flipping hot knife through butter 
Fury, Fury just had a horrific worst, night, didn't he? Is that, the, is that the worst you've ever seen Tyson Fury? The worst ever. I've seen Tyson spot, Fury, spot hundreds of rounds as well. Worst I've ever seen him spar and fight. I think he's had a terrible night. And I think he'll put it right against Usyk and I think he beat Usyk. But if not, if he has on the decline and he boxes like that, like Turd, like he did against uh, uh, Ngannou, he's going to get beat, isn't he? Mm. Simple as that. But I think Tyson Fury has had a terrible night. And then we'll see the best of him in the next fight. Look, in terms of fights, we are going to see. We're hearing that, obviously, Eddie's not here this week. And we're hearing that the negotiations for Ben Eubank yeah, are coming, Ted. Um, huge fight. Hearing that it's going to be in the UK, yeah. the Tottenham or Cardiff. The Br British boxing needs this fight. It's all. Every I know everyone's got their opinions. and, and like, what, But, like, look, Ben's been out the, Ben was out the ring over a year. This is the biggest fight in British boxing that can be happened right now. Obviously, AJ Fury, minus AJ and Fury, it's the biggest fight in British boxing. Let's see the fight. Let's bring a huge night back to British boxing because we need that big stadium fight. We've missed them, no? I 100% agree with you. What happens? I, so do I. What happens in terms of the situation with the board? I know you're not on the inside of it, but do they have to sanction it? Can it go on without? No, from my understanding, they could do what they did with Derek Chisora against uh, against David Hay. They could. Yeah, absolutely. But. I think everyone's preference is the British board licenses it, which is what I would prefer to see. But, uh, but there's no legal reason why that fight can't happen. Conor Ben, oh, listen, he's going through a process still. They've appealed it. But when is that going to take place? Are they going to wait till next May and Conor just sits and twiddles his thumb and that fight disappears? Because that's what would happen. Eubank would take a different fight. Who knows, lose. And then we've lost that fight. Strike while the iron's hot. Get the fucking fight on and let's see a huge fight in, in Britain. In terms of the actual... I know, well, this is what I like. Amped up Sam Jones. Yes, let's go. Um, in terms of the fight itself, though, we saw Chris Eubank against a Liam Smith. I, think, Connor, I but think Liam Smith was nowhere near his best. I think he was he was in a in a bit of a weight making camp. Didn't even really. Try. This is just my 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 look. The You're not best. Taking out away no, from Chris. I, I don't want to do that. But the best Liam Smith beats the best Eubank Jr. In my opinion, yeah, that wasn't the best Liam Smith. So he lost. Um, Conor Ben knocks Chris Eubank out in within four or five rounds. That's what I genuinely believe. I know people are going to say, "What the fuck is that idiot talking about?" It's my opinion. I think Conor Ben's going to be too. Fresh, Punch even at the team. higher weight. Yes, yes. I think it will carry through, and I think Conor Ben will get him out of there early. What do you make of obviously now Chris Eubank Senior is now with Harlem Ben? Yeah, do you, do you like that link? Do you like, I like that link? Yeah, up? I do, I do, but and I don't because like I, I like it for Harlem because it's good for Harlem's profile, and I love Harlem Eubank to bits. I think he's a brilliant young guy, but I think it's sad that Chris Junior's kind of fell out of his dad. I don't want to see that. I want to see the dad um, and uh, Con the, uh, Conor and his dad against Eubank Senior and his son. That's what I want to see. Uh, that's what I, I think it's... Di that, that, that relationship is it's sad, in my opinion, because he's trying to force the... Talking about Harlem fighting Conor Ben. Unfortunately, nobody wants to see that. They want to see Junior against you, against Conor Ben. So... Last couple from me, Katie Taylor, Chantel Cameron coming up. Chantel Are you looking Cameron's, forward to that? Yeah, Chantel stops at this time, in my opinion. Love Katie Taylor, greatest female fighter of all time. It, and the greatest is, is is not just down to what you do in the ring, it's also what you do outside the ring as well. I think she's an unbelievable ambassador. I think she's been a great amateur, amazing ambassador for sport, but timing is everything. Chantel stops her in this fight. Final one, the week after that, Belfast return of Michael Conlon, yes. Jordan Gill. Um, so a so yeah. crossroads fight, it's yeah, an it interesting is, one, but is, let's see. And, I, and I, it's again, I'm not just saying this, Jordan Gill uh, is a pal of mine, really like Jordan, but Mick's a close pal of mine. So I, I'm going to go with Mick Conlon in that fight, but I think Jordan Gill will put on a, up a tremendous uh, a tremendous fight. Card, yeah, what a stack card. Troy against Ajaka, what a fight that is. By what the happens way. in that, by the way? Cause it, and also Tyrone McKenna, no, Lewis no. Crocker. No. Tyron McKenna against Lewis Crocker is a barnstormer. Crocker, um, Jarko against um, Troy is an absolute thriller as well because of their style. It's going to mesh beautiful. Two really all action fighters. Belt of fight. What a fucking card. And I may have a, a, I may have a fighter or two on that card. George O'Connor? Mm, possibly. And maybe somebody else as well. So, uh, Go on. No, we can't, we can't announce it just yet, but we will after the fight. Absolutely. Sam Jones, always a pleasure. Nice one, bro.